already we have seen about the buck converter boost converter and buck boost converter in this video we will compare the features of buck boost and buck boost converter let us compare the buck converter boost converter and buck boost converter if you see the circuit diagram of a buck converter we know buck converter is a step down converter which will give you a voltage output voltage less than the input voltage basically it consists of three components a switch diode and a inductance now if you see the structure of a boost converter you rotate the switch to this position uh, rotate the diode to this inductor position and induct it to the switch position you will get the boost converter so just rotate you will get the boost converter structure only difference is that here the inductance has a very high value so that boost operation will perform whereas comparatively the inductor used in a buck converter is a low value if you see the buck boost structure it is almost similar to the buck converter you have the switch in series with the voltage source only thing you interchange the position of inductance and the diode so if you do that you will get the buck boost topology now let us see the voltage ratio of the converters so buck converter v not is equal to d times ves uh, we know duty cycle d varies between 0 to 1 so if you vary the supply voltage output will vary linearly so v not equal to d times ves and for boost converter v not is equal to ves divided by 1 minus d so at low values a boost converter will always give you a good performance but with very high values as the duty cycle increases this inductor will have some internal resistance rl so this rl will lead to some drop when current flows through it i square r losses will be there so your converter will not give you the same output voltage as the formula gives okay in practical circuit the voltage starts to drop after some duty cycle so this is because of the internal resistance next if you see the buck boost converter this converter acts as a buck converter for duty cycle of 0.5 so till 0.5 it will act as a buck converter so remember to draw the waveform correctly so till 0.5 this should be less than 1 okay so that it acts as a buck converter after 0.5 only graph changes drastically so v not is equal to minus d divided by 1 minus d that is multiply these two you will get Uh, the duty cycle of buck boost converter and here one minus sign is uh, indicated to show that this produces an output voltage opposite to the polarity of input voltage so you get plus minus here so whereas output will be minus and plus here so this circuit is used where you want to do both step up and step down operation the critical inductance formula have been already derived uh, in the respective videos so if you see for buck converter it is r into 1 minus d divided by 2f then if you see the buck boost converter you multiply by 1 minus d so if you multiply by 1 minus d for a buck converter you will get the critical inductance for a buck boost converter again you multiply by d you will get for a boost converter then inductor current ripple both boost and buck boost converter will have the same value and if you see the output voltage ripple it 
both has the same value so you can remember that the ripple is same in both boost and bug boost converter only it varies for the bug converter we can see whether the input current is continuous or discontinuous for each of the converters in case of a bug converter the input will be connected when the switch is on whereas when the switch is off input will be disconnected so the input current is a pulsed one whereas in a boost converter in both the on on off condition source will be connected so it has a continuous current in a bug boost converter it will be a pulsed current similarly if you see the output current for a bug converter it is continuous output current is continuous whereas in a boost converter output current is discontinuous whereas in book bug boost converter it is pulsed in both the cases and if you see the output voltage ripple this ripple basically depends upon the output current so if you get continuous here you will get low ripple if it is pulsed here you will get high ripple and if you see the function of this this is basically a voltage to current converter whereas a boost converter is a current to voltage converter a bug boost is a voltage current to voltage converter and there are various uh, topologies of a bug boost converter one of that is the chuck converter which many of us will call it as a cuck converter it is basically a cascade combination of a boost and a bug converter it gives a voltage greater or less than the input voltage and it produces a inverted output like a bug boost converter the advantage of this converter is that it has a continuous input current and continuous output current next is a sepic converter which is called a single ended primary inductance converter it is also a, similar to a bug boost converter which will give you a voltage greater or less than the input voltage the input is a continuous input current but output is a pulsating one so depending upon your requirement and application you can choose a particular converter the points to remember here are both uh, bug and boost converter are usually preferred in most application but whenever you require both step up and step down operation in a single circuit you can for, uh, go for any bug boost topology and if you need a inverted output uh, that is a negative output uh, some ics may require a negative supply so for that case you can go for a inverted output converter uh, otherwise uh, you may need uh, to invert the output if you want to sense the output voltage and use so it is um, extra circuit is required for this inverted output converter this chuck and sepic converter have more components which increases the cost and complexity and if you want to uh, read the material about this topic you can go and visit this website and if you like the video please do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel thank you and these are some of the references which i have used thank you